Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Kelsey and let's go show you something. It's been a while since I posted a video, um, but to be fair, <laughs> if you don't know, I actually have an Etsy where I sell a lot of my um, crochet crop tops. So I was taking time doing that because I got um, around like 55 orders. I actually closed my shop um, just for a little bit so I could catch up. Now my orders are down in the 30s. So while I have a chance right now, I've decided to make a short video for you guys. Um, I'm going to try to design a new crochet crop top that I've never made before in one hour total or less, honestly, like maybe, maybe less. But um, I have I have an idea in my head of what I want. Um, I have I have my yarn, I have my hook and my scissors, and I have everything right here in front of me. So um, basically, it's just gonna be like a little a little time lapse, and um, obviously, I'll talk a little here and there. But um, I am making this in a size small, so it should go pretty quick anyway. Um, but yes, I'm going to try to make a new top in an hour. So let's get started. Okay. Um, so the concept, um, I just want to do like something that's like black and white, kind of like yin yang. Um, but... First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a uh, bra cup. So I'm gonna start with black. Anytime I'm using cones, I always put them on the floor because if they're on the floor, then if you pull your yarn, it just comes like straight up. Always put them like right at my feet. Okay, so. Got a slip stitch. And I'm gonna chain, um, 13 for a size small. One, two, three. So basically kind of like what I want to do is um, I want to do like split where half of the cup is black and half of the cup is white. Um, I'm still not entirely sure what I'm going to do for like the band and if I'm going to do anything extra around the cups and stuff, but um, I guess I guess I'll think about it while we're doing the cup. I have never done a top like this before, but um, I'm really interested in doing tops that are multicolored. I've done a couple in the past, but I want to make more of them because I think they're really fun. The other day I was actually looking up um, 70s themed color palettes and I love it. <laughs> Okay, slightly different camera view. I thought it would be better for you guys, but. So I am doing my basic like triangle shape cup. Um, just what I'm doing is that every like middle stitch, I'm just switching colors. Um, I do have a tutorial for this on my channel. I'll link it, but um, I don't know. I'll, I'll link it so that you guys can check it out, but other than that, um, it's not too bad. It's actually pretty easy. It's already been six minutes. Um, I may need to speed it up. I think we're good. I think we're good. 
good. Let me show you guys. Um, as I'm putting it together, it sort of is giving it like a zipper type of look. You know, they're like interlocking, but it's cute overall. Oh, what the hell? I wonder how long um, that timer wasn't going. Maybe like two minutes. My bad. I touched the mouse pad because um, the uh, my screen was shutting off. It was going into sleep mode. <laughs> I guess I must have pressed the stop button. Um, I'll fix it. Okay, last row. Last row. So um, at the end, I have my black yarn hanging off the corner and I have my white yarn um, where it ended at the top. Honestly, I'm just gonna leave my white yarn there because it'll be really easy to chain off from here and make the straps. So that is what I'm gonna do. But here is what the finished cup looks like. And I have some scraps hanging off that I need to cut off. But yes. We're at 46 minutes and honestly, um, 15 minutes for a bra cup is actually not a bad time. Um, I could have gone a little faster, but anyway, so I cut off my black from here. I'm going to chain off to make a strap. So I guess I'll just guesstimate how long the strap needs to be since I don't actually have a full top, which is what I usually have whenever I'm making the straps, but I'll just lay it out on my table and I'll like pretend. I'll like pretend that it has a whole bottom and then I'll just, um, I'll improvise. I do need to think about the bottom portion. I do want to do a, um, do a single crochet with a um, stitch thingy. Need to figure out how I'm gonna do it though. I could just do every other row and um, every other stitch. It's a good idea. I'm gonna have to see what is gonna be the easiest way to combine the colors, but we'll see, we'll see. The amount of time I've spent chaining in my life, it's a lot. That strap is good, 43 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna go make the second cup and I'm going to attempt to make it faster. So, we'll see. Boom, bam. We have two. Now, uh, for the bottom. Hmm. 
Okay, I need to decide. I need to decide if we want to start with black or if we want to start with white. I think I'm going to start with the black. And we have 32 minutes left to do the bottom. And I already have the straps done, so honestly, we're doing good on time. I'll just do a slip stitch, tight down, and then we'll begin. I don't want it to be super long, so I'm just gonna chain like six. And then we will start doing single crochets across the bottom. I'm gonna try and see if I can go quick um, on the bottom. If I have a little time left over at the end, um, I'll be able to like spice it up a little bit because at the moment um, the design is <laughs> kind of, I mean, it's a pretty average design. Still very cute. I like it. I mean, I, I don't know. I haven't seen the bottom yet, so, but I'm just, I'm assuming, I'm assuming I'm, I'm going to like it because um, crochet mastermind, obviously. minutes left oof see 28 minutes is a good amount of time but I feel like I'm running low on time <laughs> well I guess the time is going to determine how long I make the bottom how many rows I'm gonna do because if I run out of time then that sucks well it wouldn't suck I guess I hadn't really planned on how long I wanted to make it, and I make them all sorts of lengths, so it doesn't really matter. Okay. This is where I'm going to introduce the white. I need to trim off a little piece first. <laughs> okay, white. Yes, you, come here. Nice, lovely, beautiful. Let me tie a little knot. Oh God. I'm getting stressed, I'm getting stressed. I'm trying not to get the straps like completely tangled up with my yarn. Anyway, um, yeah, that can just stay there. The sun was up and now it's uh, down and uh, it's hard to see. Hard to see. <laughs> I'll show you guys what I'm doing in a second. Okay, all right, okay. Ma'am, sir. You, you, you. This is gonna get all sorts of tangled, okay. That's right. I'm going back on that with a row of single crochets, but this is what I did. Okay, last stitch, last stitch. And then we gotta bring up black. That is all sorts of tangled up, okay. Black, yes. And then turn it. I 
and okay this is going great this is um it's going it's going well 20 minutes 20 20 minutes 20 minutes 20 20 two zero two zero okay uh, I wanted to do other cool things. I wanted to do, I had a small idea in my head. Um, to do, uh, to double up on the straps so that they would be black and white as well, but I'm definitely not gonna have time for that. Doubling up on straps takes so long because you have to like slip stitch down a chain, the straps, and it just, it, it takes a lot of, it's like so simple yet it's, it just, it's tedious. Yes. That's a word. That's a word. All right, so here's what the bottom looks like so far. Oh, wait, am I just making a houndstooth? Is that what that's called? Because I've never, I've never done the houndstooth pattern, and I've never looked it up. So if I just did that on accident, I would, I would be pretty impressed with myself. I definitely want to end on a black row, so I guess I might do like one more row of white because I just finished a black row. I do another white one and then another black one because I want to finish on black. But eh, I think I can do it. I think I, I think I. I think yeah. I think yes. I'm just gonna ignore the fact that my yarn is completely tangled with the straps on my top and uh, I will continue. <laughs> Whenever I get like real tensed up, I start like wearing my shoulders as earrings. Um, does anybody else do that? Let, let me know. I constantly have to like remind myself to um, relax. Ah. No, sir, sir. I just know this is gonna have some kind of um, like very chill background music on it, um, but I feel very tense. It doesn't, that doesn't fit the vibe, cute. Okay, um, we have seven minutes yeah, left. I'm not entirely focusing on what my hands are doing. Um, they're just kind of doing it. Oh, shit. Okay, okay. Do I want to stop it here? Do I want to stop it here? Do I? Do I? Do I? Do I? Do I? Mm, <laughs> I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna try to do two more rows. Four minutes? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't think I can fit that. I don't think I can fit that um, in the amount of time. You guys gonna be mad at me if I don't finish this in the next two minutes and 19 seconds? Uh, 
Uh, okay, 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 okay. It's getting intense. We're down to 54 seconds, people. I could stop it right here. Honestly, honestly, yeah, let's do that, let's do that. Well, okay. Alright, 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 alright. Well, this is the end. Ew, stop. Oh, um, here we are. I am just going to do some finishing touches really quick. Uh, I'm gonna cut off my ends and weave them in and then uh, lace it up and stuff, but overall, I'm pretty happy. I'm gonna try it on, see how it looks, but I am quite happy with that. Um, I am gonna do single crochets up this side just to uh, make it look a little nicer, TBH. I'm gonna do it on both sides, but It didn't take very much yarn. Ends are tied. I'm gonna lace this baby up and we're gonna try it on and see how it actually looks. Well, I don't know about you guys, but um, I love it. <laughs> It turned out so good. Look at her. I like, um, it goes around the back just a little and then it laces up. She's so cute. I really like it. I really like how it turned out. I like the length of it. Um, yes, just yes, overall, yes. I made a couple TikToks in it. I only made two, but. Alrighty, well, thank you all so much for joining me today. This was really fun. Um, obviously it took a little bit longer than an hour total because of um, tying in ends and finishing touches and whatnot, but it was fun nonetheless. I think if I made it again, maybe I could do it faster. Can you stop chewing on that while I'm working? Hi. Nope, nope. Thank you all so much for watching. Thanks for being here. If you liked it, please give the video a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos from me, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. You'll get notifications whenever I post a new video, but yeah. I'll see you guys next time.